Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're diving into a fascinating question from one of our viewers about class member variables based on variadic templates in C++. The viewer wonders if it's possible for the compiler to automatically generate a class with member variables defined by a list of types, names, and default values. Let's explore this intriguing concept together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. Let's explore the concept of generating class member variables using variadic templates in C++. We want to create a class that automatically declares member variables based on a list of types, names, and default values. For example, given the types int, foo, and default value 42, along with float, bar, and default value, we want to generate a class named baz. This class would look like this. Class baz, int foo equals 42, float bar equal 0.1f. To achieve this, we can use a template structure. We define a template class baz that takes variadic template parameters. Each parameter will represent a member type, name, and default value. However, there are limitations. For instance, template parameters cannot be string literals, which complicates using names directly. This means we need to find alternative ways to represent member names. In conclusion, while the idea of auto-generating class members using variadic templates is intriguing, it faces challenges due to C++'s type system. Future C++ standards may introduce features that could help, but as of now, we need to rely on external tools for such functionality. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. It's not possible to define class member names using templates directly. However, you can use types as identifiers instead. The suggested approach involves creating a member type structure that holds the type, name, and default value. You can then create a structure for templated members using a tuple to hold these member types. This allows you to define members with unique types as their identifiers. To access member values, helper templates can be used to find the index of a member based on its type. This allows you to retrieve and modify member values easily. Finally, you can see how to use this setup in a main function where you create an instance of your templated members and access their values. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe, I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.